Yes, there's 12 different income methods to use in different market conditions. Yes, these numbers I'm throwing out at you and these concepts, if you're just brand new, might seem a little bit extreme, but remember the basics. Instead of a covered call that caps the gain and leaves the downside open, we're flipping it on its angle or a cash secured naked put. We're controlling the loss and leaving the upside. We've capped the loss to single digits to avoid the lie of leverage. Then instead of just rolling the covered call or rolling or adjusting the cash secured naked put or getting assigned on the covered call and buying back in or letting the naked put expire and then selling it again, we have up to 12, really it's about 14 different tools in our tools box for different market conditions. We can generate premium. We can do things that lower the risk by manipulating the put option. Four of the 12 income methods really are on put manipulation, a second working asset in your favor. Yes, you can still generate income. Yes, you can still generate weekly income, but you can also do spreads as we just saw inside this structure based on the SEGA model. We're avoiding the lie of leverage. The worst case scenario is a loss of 7%. If the income methods are applied correctly, which is what we just reviewed, Edward, if I apply the income methods incorrectly, I can actually increase the risk to the upside in the direction I thought the stock was going to go. Okay? But this is the worst case scenario. If I'm in pure storage and the stock drops, you know, 10, 15% from where it is right now, and I had a 7% risk, in the first 20 to 40 days, the stock drops 10%, I'm not going to be at a 7% loss. Most of that extrinsic or time value for this December option is going to remain. I might only be down three, three and a half, maybe 4%, not at the maximum loss. I could choose even to just exit the position if my expectations have changed. If I'm no longer bullish on the stock based on some news that came out, I can stomach that. I'm liquidating out of the position. There's better opportunities out here that match <clears throat> what we look for for the married put structure following the rules in the blueprint. I might just take the loss, move on if my expectations of saying my SEGA model for the underlying and the married put has changed, or I don't find a good enough SEGA model that matches one of the income methods to continue that trade and move forward. And you had mentioned using income method number 10. Absolutely. You have the potential there on City to just wait it out, get a little bit more income in there and then reassess the position later on. I did have a gentleman, of course, ask me about CRM. He was in a married put on CRM. And as you all know, the other day, we saw that fall about 20% uh, due to the earnings. It moved back another, okay, we get 7.5% of it back today. So that's pretty good. But yeah, he was in a married put on CRM here. I uh, don't remember his exact cost basis. It was in this range of the 275 range, I think, with a 290 or 300 put. And the stock collapsed and said, what should I do today? It was the day of earnings. It was the other day on earnings. He said, what should I do? How should I manage it? And I said, don't. The one thing I never do in a married put because I don't have to. I don't overreact to earnings. This event happened. Sucks. But his maximum risk on the position was similar to yours, Edward. It was only about 5.6, 5.7%. He was at a loss of only 4.1% on this position because of the put structure used, he's out to January. After this type of big move around earnings, I have a stop order that's guaranteed. In other words, if I had just put, you know, sell me out of the stock, I, I bought in the stock at say 280, 285, put me a stop order at 275, this, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> let's go 260. This happens, do you get 260? No, you get filled at 220, 225, 222 whatever the market's giving because your trigger has been clicked. I'm in the married put. I know the worst case scenario is I can get 300 back for it. But, right, I might have paid $52 for that. So, you know, I, I've got that risk of 5 or 6%. But I can wait this out. See what the stock does next. This was disastrous. This was a fail. They didn't meet expectations at all. Now, is it an overreaction, though? What happens in five to 10 days from now, if this is back in the 255, 250, we're holding this 300 put, hey, we've just moved back up 30 points over 10% after this overreaction. It still looks like we're going back into a bullish position. We just showed you what you could do. Move back down here, 
start doing income methods here, lower the cost basis, average down, but get paid to do it because of that gain in value in the proper structure of the protected married put position. If it continues to move down, this might be a, you know that false rebound, that false recovery, uh, short cover, whatever you want to call it. Okay, if it starts to trend back down, hey, the risk was only 5.4%. The stock would be down, let's say it dropped down to 210. That's a 70 point drop from a price of 280. We're only losing 5% because of the proper structure. Take that every day. I'll take a loss of 5% every day as opposed to what I would have lost in a covered call. Even trading it for the last couple of months, I might have only gained 6 or 7 or 8%. With this decline here, I'm still down in the double digits. With the married put, I'm only down 5 to 6%. I'll accept that every day with a stock down 20, 25, or 30%. Okay? So, Edward, those are some ideas on what you can consider. As I mentioned, I know it's a lot to some of you who might know it, but hey, you want to take more, want we'll to see more information about this, remember, you can check it out here on Power Options, or you can just go to radioactivetrading.com. You want to see some more insight into the married put, income methods, and how that's used, and how that can benefit the portfolio. Take a look at our free white paper. Just go to radioactivetrading.com, put in your name and email address, and click Get the Sketch. It's a free nine-page white paper that Kurt Frankenberg wrote when he originally created uh, the married put structure after he'd lost all his money following a trading guru that eventually went to jail doing covered calls and spread positions. And he sort of said, what if I turn that covered call upside down? What if I control my risk and guarantee it, but leave the upside open? But hey, now I can still do income method, but oops, I don't want to do it the wrong way because I can get in trouble. Let's see how do we do this. And that's how those income methods were developed in addition to the proper structure. But of course, the main product there is the blueprint. It's an all electronic copy supported on our uh, educational portal, learn.powerop.com. Uh, just click on the products tab there at Radioactive Trading or Power Options. You can see more about the blueprints um, and you can listen to the first chapter for free. And of course, view the full table of contents, the full course on properly limiting risk, following those three core principles and the proper way to apply all the 12 income methods for different market conditions after you've entered the initial married put structure. And of course, the bonuses you get with the blueprint purchase, you get a free month of power options. You'll get a discounted first month of the Fusion subscription at Radioactive Trading, which includes lessons, a basic married put search, and you can follow along with Ernie's and my open married put positions uh, that we have right now. You know, some of those um, I have, um, the ones that I have, I'm sorry. Let's see here. My apologies. The Fortinet one, which is going to be closed soon. This was originally a 5 or 6% loss in December because it was well below the put strike price. I extended the trade. It's now at a profit of 1%, guaranteed. It's a bulletproof position. Is that great? No. But did I go from a, a loss, I'm sorry, of 6.5% to a gain of 1% by using the income methods? Absolutely. Uh, MMYT, 92 days in the position. The stock's up 23.5%. Pure storage has been it for 15 days. It was up about 8%, and then it pulled back. I'm fine with that. Trex has been bouncing around. We've done some good income methods with it. We do have a good risk on that. And Urban Outfitters has been a disappointment. It just keeps going down to 38 and then coming back up to 42. But we've been able to manipulate that, too, to some decent lowered risk from where we started. And we still have 112 days of protection here. And as I mentioned, Fortinet, we're probably getting out of soon. And uh, Trex is coming up to the expiration date. I want to, I think I want to roll that out further, but I only trade Trex between March and usually August. I opened this one in February early, but I usually trade it between March and August. I don't know if I want to extend this position uh, further than that out of the summer months. Um, those of you who know Trex know why. Okay. But yeah, I'm still looking to open one more new married put. Ernie's got about six or seven married puts open, but that's Another bonus that you get with the Blueprint. Three months of power options, discounted first month of Fusion. Uh, you'll also get access to the um, uh, different uh, guides, Edward. That's what I wanted to mention. There's some guides that we have. Uh, the income method number cheat sheet for Blueprint owners uh, and the income method quick guide, uh, which gives you a, a quicker breakdown just as a reference of the income method. That's available for Blueprint owners, of course, as well. So you can check that out. Control risk, get income, never lose more than 4 to 6% on any stock position. 
12 different income methods to use in different market conditions, more tools in your toolbox to manage uh, the RPM, cut down the risk and potentially bulletproof the trade where you have no risk and still unlimited upside as well.